Here are my picks for week four of the NFL season. I'm predicting every single game all season long. Keeping track of my overall record and competing against you. And last week I went eight and eight. Again. I've been so bad at my picks so far this year, people are starting to comment that a coin could beat me. So as punishment for my failures, this week I will be competing against the coin and I have to beat the coin before I can try and take on any of you. And of course, like every week, there is a jersey on the line to whoever can get the most wins. I will let you all know how to submit your picks at the end of the video. Starting off with Thursday Night Football, we got the Miami Dolphins traveling to Cincinnati to play the Cincinnati Bengals. This is a great Thursday night matchup. Both teams coming off big wins last week. And it seems like every week a different part of the Dolphins roster shines. Last week, it was the secondary who made an unbelievable amount of plays to keep him in that game. Even though Tua's playing a little banged up, I like Miami's defense over Cincinnati's defense. And by a wide margin, give me the Dolphins to go 4-0. But no worries if you're a Bengals fan. I'm 0-3 on Thursday Night Football and 1-5 calling Miami Dolphin and Bengals game. So I don't know who's winning this game, clearly. We're going to go with heads for the home team, tails for the away team. Let's see who the coin takes. Tails going with the away team, the Miami Dolphins. The first game on Sunday is the Minnesota Vikings traveling to New Orleans to play the New Orleans Saints. Who that think they're going to beat them Saints? I think a lot of teams this year. Their offense doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to be. And the Vikings pulled a damn rabbit out of the hat against Detroit in the fourth quarter last week. I'm going to go with the Vikings. The coin says heads for the home team going to New Orleans Saints. The Cleveland Browns are going to Atlanta to play the Atlanta Falcons this week. The Falcons are 15th against the run this year, average at best. And I just watched the Browns run all over the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. As long as Jacoby plays a clean game, the Browns should win this one on the road. Let's see if the coin's also going with the Elf. No, going with the home team. The coin's got the Atlanta Falcons. We got a division rivalry game this week between the Washington Commanders and Dallas Cowboys. Washington has been all over the place this year. The Dallas defense looks legit. Like, shut down legit. Dan Quinn has done a phenomenal job in the last couple years with the Cowboys defense. Rush is doing enough to get the ball into his weapons hands, giving the Dallas Cowboys in this one. Cooper Rush staying unbeaten, or is the coin going with the Washington Commanders? The away team, the Washington Commanders. Next, we have the Seattle Seahawks on the road against the Detroit Lions. Despite being one and two, the Lions look very improved, especially on the offensive side of the ball. And Seattle has just flat out struggled this year. I think that's gonna continue. Give me the Detroit Lions. Coins going with the Detroit Lions, the home team. Up next, we have the Tennessee Titans on the road against their division rival, Indianapolis Colts. Both of these teams are officially chasing the Jacksonville Jaguars in this division. And both of these teams got their first win of the season last week. And both these teams are very similarly built. Indy's offensive line is healthier. Indy's defense, in my opinion, is just flat out better. Give me the Colts at home. Let's see who the coin wants. Heads, the home team, Indianapolis Colts. Up next, we have the Chicago Bears on the road against the New York Giants. The Giants suffered their first loss of the season on Monday Night Football, and it wasn't very pretty. While the Bears somehow dug that game out against Houston to improve a 2-1. This is a matchup thing for me. I think Chicago has the defenders to go after Saquon and Danny Dimes. And I think Fields can get loose a few times on the Giants defense. Give me the Bears to go 3-1. Oh, the home team going with the New York Giants. The next game is the back-to-back -back win. Jacksonville Jaguars going to Philly to play the undefeated Philadelphia Eagles. This game is going to be really good. The Jacksonville Jaguars look really improved from previous seasons. And if they win this one, I may be on the train of the Jacksonville Jaguars winning the South. The Eagles are legit and they're healthy, unlike my Chargers were this last week. Let's see who the coin goes with. Anything for the Duval. Away team, the coin wants the Jags. Tell you what, I think I'm destroying the coin so far. What do you guys think? Up next, we have the New York Jets going to Pittsburgh to play the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hey, Mike Tomlin, Robert Sala, can we get Zach Wilson versus Kenny Pickett in this game, please? I think Zach is going to be back, and if Mitchell Trubisky's in the game, I'm going with the New York Jets on the road versus the Steelers. This one actually is a coin toss. Let's see what the coin says. The home team. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Up next is Mike's game of the week, and it could be the game of the year. Buffalo Bills coming off a loss against the Miami Dolphins, traveling to Baltimore to play the Baltimore Ravens. This is going to be awesome. Lamar Jackson is playing like a madman. And the Bills have one of the best rosters in the league. 
But with all the injuries in the Bills defense and all the athletes on the Ravens defense that can chase Josh Allen around all day, I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens. Another coin toss. Going with the away team, Buffalo Bills. The coins got the Bills. Up next, we have my Los Angeles Chargers on the road against the Houston Texans. Last week was just not the Chargers week. All the injuries, the quarterback was out of practice all week. Facing off what is clearly now an underrated Jacksonville Jaguar squad. We ran into a literal buzzsaw. Fortunately, the schedule is light for the Chargers while we deal with all these injuries. And fortunately, it looks like Keenan Allen is going to be back this week. And JC Jackson should return as well. And I think it's enough for the Bolts to get the victory over the Houston Texans, even with a banged up offensive line. <sighs> Relax, it's just week three. We've got plenty of season left. We'll see if the coin's going with the Texans. I dare you to go with the Texans. I dare you to go with the Texans. The away team, they're going with the Chargers. The next game, we got the Arizona Cardinals on the road against the Carolina Panthers. Both of these teams have a ton of talent, but have been all over the place this year, not playing very good football. I'm gonna take the better quarterback to win in this matchup. Give me the Arizona Cardinals. Point is going with heads. The home team, Carolina Panthers. We disagree on a lot. Up next, the Mac Jones-less New England Patriots are going to Green Bay to play the Green Bay Packers. Sorry, Patriots fans, that's, that's terrible news. I'm going with the Green Bay Packers. Patriots are away. Come on, Tails. Come on, Tails. <laughs> and oh boy, the next game will be a blast to watch, I'm sure. We got the Denver Broncos on the road facing off against the Las Vegas Raiders. What happened last week, Raiders fans? Y'all were all calling me an idiot in the comments for taking the Titans. Y'all were calling me an idiot in the comments for taking the Cardinals against the Raiders two weeks ago. And y'all were calling me an idiot in the comments for taking the Chargers to beat the Raiders in week one. So who is the idiot now? That's a little rough. That's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much. Here's my peace offering. I'm taking the Raiders to win this week. But if they don't, they're going 0-17. You can book it right now. Denver should be 0-3 as well, by the way. They didn't kick off the season with Geno Smith, Davis Mills, and Jimmy Garoppolo. They would, in fact, be 0-3. Let's see who the coin has in this AFC West battle. Ooh. The home team, Las Vegas Raiders. I think you're right on this one. Up next, we have a great Sunday night football matchup. The Kansas City Chiefs are going to Florida to play Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A few years ago, these two teams faced off in the Super Bowl. Flash forward to today, and these two offenses are really struggling as of late. However, the Bucs could be getting back Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and Julio Jones in the same week, which is not great news for an already kind of bad Chiefs secondary. Pair that with the fact that the Buccaneers defense is playing at an insane level. The AFC West is about to have four teams at 500 or worse after this weekend. The away team, Kansas City Chiefs. In the final game of the week, we have the Los Angeles Rams going to San Fran to face the San Francisco 49ers. 49ers fans, I will not be taking the 49ers to win another game this season while Jimmy Garoppolo is the quarterback. I think that that strategy is going to lead to me winning more games than losing when I pick 49ers games. I picked the 49ers last week and Jimmy completely failed me. Let's see who the coin wants. The away team, Los Angeles Rams. That's my picks, well, and the coins picks. And to submit your picks and enter the competition for the weekly jersey giveaway, simply go to the NFL Mike profile, click the link on my profile, and you'll see it in there. Mike's Pick'em's Challenge. Go in there, submit your picks. It takes like five minutes. Congrats to last week's winner, Chad, who won with 12 wins and only a negative three point differential in the tiebreaker. Yes, if you get 13 wins, you're probably going to win a jersey. Reach out on any platform, Chad, with we'll your jersey of your choice. And shout out to the season long winner as of right now, Yo Banny24, who is the only person with 31 wins currently. It's a long season and you can still get in the season long mix. Just make sure you submit your picks every single week. And also recruit more NFL fans by sharing this video. 